Hi friends, so today I will show how I passed PL 900 exam. I got around 730 marks. I will show those marks also like uh, for the reference. I will show from where I studied and uh, I will uh, show you each and everything like uh, you definitely will get passed if you are if you read 136 questions and answers definitely you will get passed you will get around 700 plus marks i got silver as you can see so you can also achieve by seeing or downloading the uh, pdf by seeing and downloading the pdf i will show you as you can see accenture 2022 i got silver okay certificate recognition so when uh, after passing we can able to download this certificate okay so i will show you each and everything example this is microsoft certification id transcript like after clearing your after completion of your exam you will be able to download this okay you can able to download this pl 900 microsoft power platform fundamentals so this you can download this is the certification number so i cleared on march 28 as you can see i will show you a scorecard also see this this is my scorecard pl 900 i have downloaded this one also march 28 okay this is the candidate id and the result is pass and registration number passing score you can see 700 your score is 731 i got 731 marks okay i got cleared you can also achieve this much marks or else you can achieve more i miss some questions uh, over there means means it can be wrong one or two that's why i got some less but you can definitely pass okay for passing score for guaranteed score you can uh, you can have this uh, pdf so this is my result which i got okay so i am showing you the pl 900 study material as you can see passing score is 800 this is the previous model papers you can say okay time limit is 120 minutes so here you will be having around three four model papers so as you can see in studies we we able to achieve or pass the exams by studying study materials means model papers so you can also do that thing so here we are having previous premium exam question papers so from this you can able to pass the exam you can able to clear the exam so here you can see we are having sections six sections are there so in this only we will get the questions okay so describe the business values of power platform like this all these things power platform power platform power bi power apps power automate and power virtual agents these are the topics okay from this only we will get the questions so all the things each and everything is covered in this model papers okay so you can download this model paper and you can able to pass the exam so here i will show you some some questions i i will not take much time of yours i will show some of the questions like question one okay exam a question one this questions required that you evaluate the underlined text to determine if it is correct okay so here you can see it will ask you question this is the question okay this is the question it will ask you no change is needed if the statement is incorrect or not guidance it is giving here so after that it will give you the options okay no change is needed one three four okay here you will be having correct answer answer is c as you can see three okay similarly you will be having references for that okay 
references means you can go there in the website and you can able to see the option is see or not okay like this and the documentation restore an app something is there you can read from there also like a theoretical part is there okay like there will be definitions introductions like that so here question two is there company uses dynamic 365 sales the company uses a browser based app named sales hub okay you need to ensure that users can access data from mobile devices which app should user installed okay dynamic 365 remote assist dynamic 365 finance dynamic 365 business central dynamic 365 for phones so here we are having correct answer dynamics 365 for phones you can we have to remember like example you need to read the question and then answer if you don't have much time if you don't have much time don't read all these things okay i am giving the i will give you some key points example you read this question but it is necessary to read the question also don't try to remember only answers okay you have to read the question also if you are having eight hours of time like tomorrow you you will be having exam so today you can able to read this question paper okay if you are reading this question paper you can easily able to get 700 plus marks okay if you are having much time means one week time two two days time three days time then you will be having much time enough time to read this okay you will get some more 800 plus points or 800 points you will be in a grade okay like this you can achieve example i will show you some key points okay read the questions like how i read i am saying so here i read question after that answer not other things no need to remember all these things otherwise it might be a confusion for you while writing exam you will think like i have read this one also i have read this one also okay not required that thing read only question as well as answer not other things okay and here describe section some some things are there okay some more things will be there you are a customer service manager you need to implement a power apps portal that allows customers to submit cases like you will need a power apps portal that allow customer to submit cases we we required this thing to implement okay so we have to remember this which type of data source is used data source means how it can be implement it will be implemented by microsoft sharepoint here is we here we are having answer okay similarly explanation everything you can go there if you are having much time enough time you can go there and uh, you can read the things okay you will be having links i can't share these many links for you in the description it might be like uh, uh, lengthy thing for me also and uh, video also for here we are having one more question okay question four you create a user own custom entity by using common data service okay for each of the following statements select yes if the statement is true okay otherwise select no so here we are having two options okay you can change the entity ownership from user to organization own okay and you can create a business rule for a custom entity that can be used in a flow so here we are having this selected thing below is the answer area okay so here you can change the entity ownership from user to organization own so you can't do if you are a user okay so it will be no you have to remember like this you can create a business rule for custom entity that can be used in a flow we can create a business rule custom means we can uh, uh, do anything we can do anything for our business okay we can create a rules for that because we are a owner we are not uh, a customer or a user we are a uh, owner only owner only okay if we are owner we can create a business rules we have to remember like this okay this is the best thing which we can uh, use to uh, to clear the exam so you can create a business rule for custom entity 
that can be used in a flow yes like this you have to remember okay here we are having some examples means some details are there similarly we are having different things example i will i will explain this one last question 5 okay you need to explain the major component of the common data model okay and their functions we have to list out the majors we have to explain the majors okay we have to explain the components of a data model okay common data model and their functions match each term to its definition so here you can see this is the answer area microsoft power platform okay this we can select help jumpstart application development by leveraging business logic security and integration this this many things it will provide you these are the functions okay for microsoft power platform we we have to remember that thing we are writing this this one only we are writing this exam microsoft power platform next is a set of records used to store data means entities okay entities is nothing but anything which can be stored okay anything any data like students records these things these things are nothing but entities a set of records entity is not entities is nothing but set of records means anything any stuff that can be stored so we can say that a set of records used to store data is nothing but entities we have to remember like this okay similarly we are having other questions i will show you like this okay everything each and everything is there only need to read okay if you read you can able to achieve this is the last question okay this is the power virtual agent chatbot thing these are the things which is very important these things will come means entire thing will come in the exam so you can able to pass the exam if you read but if you are having very less time then read question and answer only if you are having much time then go to this url okay go to this url and read all the description okay if you click here you will it will go to the its website microsoft documents website and it will show all the descriptions related to this question okay so this is the brief overview of this uh, material study material so the, if you read this you can able to pass the exam okay thank you for watching if you like the video share and subscribe okay thank you bye